Bus rides to and from games are a staple of high school sports. And as some divisions prepare for the fall season, they're also making plans to safely get their athletes around. Connor Real has those details. Some football teams line up in the shotgun, others with the quarterback under center. But that's not the kind of formation that came to the mind of coordinator of transportation for Portsmouth Public Schools' Kevin Privet when he heard about the city's decision to go ahead with fall sports. We will be using the zigzag formation. Um, one kid to a seat, kid has to wear face masks. And what we'll do, we'll start at the right side. The zigzag will occur in more buses than ever as teams maintain social distance while traveling to and from games. It will never be like it once was. Um, where in the past, so like for a football game, we might take three buses. You can always multiply that product probably by two, anywhere from four to five to six buses. Privet says a bus driver shortage makes the task stressful, but some of that is eased by Portsmouth schools continuing to learn virtually. Due to the COVID, we have lost a lot of drivers. Um, I think we've lost over 30 drivers, 30, 35 drivers. So it will be a, um, it will be a difficult task um, when if we do go back to school doing fall sports. Dr. Rock Vomer is a second year resident with EVMS Family Medicine. He also played high school football and works with local high school trainers. There's an important balance to have because team sports obviously are team bonding and community experience for the athletes and their coaches. He says that balance is found through precaution. Um, everything the leagues do needs to be reevaluated each week to make sure everyone's doing their utmost to protect the, the athlete. In Portsmouth, I'm Connor Real, 13 News Now.